Thanks for joining a 5 2 victory today against Scotsborne United in the V Tech Rifle Warriors Cup. Was we pleased with that? Over the moon with that. Uh, not just over the moon with the score, I was over the moon with the performance. I thought at times the, the boys were breathtaking. Do you know, I, I said to them, uh, I think the most used word in my vocabulary today was well done. Do you know, because I said it all day. Um, everything we done, passages they play, defending, uh, um, doing everything at a tempo like we ask. Um, boys were first class. Other than do you know if I'm being over critical, maybe the first five minutes they had a couple of chances, first 15 minutes of the second half, weren't they quite at it like we usually are, other than that totally dominated the game uh, and I think the scoreline should have been more convincing than 5-2 and as, as convincing as 5-2 is, do you know, against a Super League side and a top Super League side, you look through that team and it, all experienced players, all good junior players, do you know, um, and Broxburn are one of the teams that I thought would be and I still think they will be up the top end of the Super League, so to go and beat them as convincingly as we have is massive credit to the players. Um, yeah, over the moon. Aaron Somerville got his first hat trick for Penny Cook and was the PLS medical man in the match. How big has he been since he's came back in? Some has been a different player this season, do you know, and I go back to pre season. Say to all the strikers, I think, and I think you get your goals through hard work, do you know, and it's not just all the nice stuff round about the box and it's about working hard out of possession, do you know, and somebody, somebody totally typifies that, I thought he's, he's pressing off out of possession of the ball the day, he was first class and then he goes on and gets a hat trick, so you can work hard and you can still be in the box at the right times, I thought his second, I think it was his second goal when he's just arrived in the box for his header, do you know, that's, some people you can't coach that, do you know, it's just timing of the run, arriving there as the ball arrives there, defenders are flat footed and somebody just met, I thought it was a, a brilliant goal, so, no, nah, brilliant, delighted for him, he deserves it, um, and no, nah, great. Something you would now really associate with us probably is scoring headers, but three or five goals a day came for headers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to be fair, we were a threat in the box uh, for, for corners, especially first half, I think we had three headers at the back post. Big Dawson, again, I thought he was outstanding the day. Um, do you know? To defend and play, I think, I think Dawson's a modern day centre half. You know, he defends one on one very well, um, but he can come out with the ball, he can pass, and he can score goals for corners, do you know. So, kind of coming across as if I'm beaming about every single player today, but I'm, do you know, I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon. I think, I think the players were terrific today. And we also had two cup draws this week, week in Vicks in the East of Scotland and Cup One of Leeds side in the yeah. Junior Cup. What's your initial thoughts on those draws? A couple of road trips, do you know, uh, somebody told me. Oh, and I think for the two of them, so many miles round trip, you know, and it's no, it's no a short trip. So, um, no, good draws, exciting draws. Do you know, Colburnie's a tough, tough draw. Do you know, second round of the Scottish Cup, um, but we'll go through there. We'll go, go with confidence as they will because they're they're flying at the top end of their league as well. And do you know, it's a it's a fifty fifty tie. Um, Brecon Vix, it'll be a tough one going up there. Yeah. Ground, I don't think I've been it, so I look forward to, to going up there and hopefully we can get in the next round of that one as well. So, yeah. Another positive for the club this week will be Andy Forbes' involvement with Junior Scotland. How do you see him getting on? If, he, if Forbes he puts a level of performance in it, he does for Penny Cook, he'll be, he'll be absolutely terrific. He's thoroughly deserved co up, you know, and he, he's going there to obviously represent himself, but he's obviously representing the club as well and the teammates. Um, but nah, I'm delighted for him. Uh, I'm sure he'll go and do really well for Scotland and I wish the obviously wish the Scottish team well next week as well but Forbes will not let him do it. Um, top player, uh, totally deserves it. You mentioned that was a highlight, the one low light today was Daryl Young going off with some injury. Yeah. Have to shuffle the pack a wee bit next week. Shuffled the pack a wee bit today, do you know? I've probably shuffled the pack more than I normally do. Uh, but I'm, I think the players are enjoying it, just I'm bringing a freshness in there as well, obviously players want to play every week but I think the way we're doing it, we're getting the best out of players, do you know, um, Hume was injured today, um, missed last week, you look at the quality that we've got coming in there, do you know, um, John McDonald's played the last two weeks at right back, so with Forbes he missing next week, John, Mc, John McDonald's done terrific there as well, um, Loomba, arguably been one of our best performers all season, I was... Uh, I was, I was obviously afforded to, to give him a wee rest, so I'm looking right across the bench and I turn around and I can I could play anybody, I could pick any team for the, the squad of players that I've got and I would be confident that I would get a performance out of them, so 
that's credit to the players. Do you know they're they're all turning up, they're working hard, and every one of them's putting in a performance when they're asked to. So, no, nah, delighted with them. Back on route duty next week as we head up to Brody, who had a good 6 2 win today. What's your. Um, Brody seem to have picked up, I think, the last few weeks. Got a new manager, so they were fresh lease of life, do you know? And um, no, it'll be tough. We've always found it tough going up to Brody. Um, always we got beat up there. We got done with a corner, I remember, and it kind of still hurts. So um, hopefully we can go up there, cut out any mistakes, and try and get the three points, do you know? But we just need to. We just need to take it week by week and obviously Brody's the next game so we'll be full, fully concentrated on that one and preparing properly. Thank you John. Cheers Dougie.